So uh, good evening, folks. <laughs> um, I'm Sarah Talk. I am 18 years old, and I'm from the amazing province of Newfoundland, Labrador, way far out east. <laughs> and I've been in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, so I've been enrolled in the Girl Guides of Canada since the age of five. And so first off, I want to say a huge thank you to my mom, Sandy. She's out in the crowd with me. Love you. Thank you for all your support. <laughs> and so right now, I am speaking to you on behalf of the Girl Scouts of the USA and their partner in gender parity work, Women in Governance. I am just so so grateful for them for this incredible opportunity to be here speaking to you. So let's give them a huge round of applause for all the amazing work they do for girls. Also, a big congratulations is in order for all the amazing organizations being honored here tonight for their commitment and progress. I also commend uh, Girl Scouts certified partners uh, shown here behind me and recognize in particular two of them, WTW and IMPACTS, who have joined us here tonight. All right, so I can hear a few gears turning in your heads as you guessed why exactly I'm here. And I'm here because I'm a woman, so naturally gender parity means a lot to me. I'm here because I'm a girl guide, so I know that gender should never be a limiting factor for anybody because I'm around incredibly capable women every single week. But I'm mainly here because I'm a youth. And I'm, I'm young enough that I'm still a dreamer. I still have stars in my eyes. <laughs> and I, I fight for what I dream about. I'm here because I have a fire lit under me. And I want to light one under you, too. It is a tragedy that we traditionally equate work to suffering. If not to suffering, then to the mind-numbing tedium. And then if not the mind-numbing tedium, then there are the jobs so stressful that we forget how to breathe. And do you know how scary that perception is to 14 and 15 year olds? That they're expected to dedicate close to 50 years of their life stuck doing something they despise just to retire? <laughs> <laughs> Work should be fulfilling. It should make us feel good. Working in a place of tension, no matter what you achieve or try to do, you're not recognized because of something as insignificant as gender. That's just soul crushing. And flat out, no one deserves that. And that's why I'll always be in the fight for gender parity, so that everyone can actually enjoy the adult world. Speaking of that, my generation and I are on the cusp of starting our journey into that world. I graduate, ne I graduate next month. <laughs> and then I'm off to the races, so. <laughs> to the crazy, sometimes unknowable world of adulthood. Whatever that means. So. And, but although, despite saying that, I'm not scared of it. I realized lately that so many people older than me don't know just how excited youth are for the future. We're not all nihilists, we're not all lazy, we're not all disillusioned, we just have bad media reps sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> we want to fix things and make new things, and we want to make things better, just like you do. Everyone in this room right now has the opportunity to join organizations like Women in Governments, Girl Scouts of the USA, and Girl Guides of Canada in keeping the momentum of youth going, to teach us about gender parity, and to galvanize us to fight with you. Gender parity is not a woman's fight, a man's fight, a non-binary person's fight. It's our fight. It's a human fight, because it affects all of us, the quality of our lives and the people we love. And I choose to get inspiration from that, to dream about the day that we finally right one of the long-standing wrongs of history, when we get to put the footnote at the end of this part of equal rights. I want you to look at me, because I want you to look at me, <laughs> because I'm your future CEO. <laughs> Think 
of a young person that is close to you, and that's your company's next vice president. And just picture a random kid you saw walking down the street last week, and that's your new head of the board of directors. We are going to be artists and idea makers, change bringers, office workers, plumbers, and IT techs. And isn't that just so exciting to think about? And we're going to be equal with one another because you are going to be patient with us. You are going to teach us and open doors for us and bring on the start of the great, beautiful wave of change that you know deep down is what you really want to do. I promise you, this is the best legacy you could ever have in this world and the next. So thank you. <laughs>